So today I'm going to be talking about the film The Shawshank Redemption, which is actually the highest rated film there is on IMDb with an overall 9.3 out of 10, which is just brilliant, I have to say. Uh, this film came out in 1994, so around 25 years ago, and is directed by Frank Darabont. And uh, the main actors in this film are uh, Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman. And now what this film is about is there is a successful banker uh, who's arrested for the murder of his wife and her lover because she's cheating on him and uh, is sentenced to life imprisonment at the Shawshank prison. But he becomes what some would say an unconventional and, you know, ruthless prisoner, I would say. Um, now, starting on to the positives, I think for a start, this film is just brilliant. It has to be one of my favourites. Um, it's just so entertaining throughout. And uh, I feel like this is that's because it's set in a prison and there's this feeling of like uncertainty. You don't really know what's going to happen. And uh, this is shown uh, right at the start of the film because uh, straight away when Andy arrives at prison, um, there's this other character that they call Fatas, and uh, he's crying, you know, wanting to go home because, you know, he wants to be in prison and he's really sad and scared. And uh, everyone's telling him to shut up until eventually a guard comes out and, you know, beats him up really. And all, all the other prisoners finding this hilarious. And then um, he, this character is actually, it's actually quite sad because he died, this character dies in the infirmary in the morning. So this just straight away shows, you know, wow, you know, this film is, is really going to be it. It's going to be something. And it really shows, you know, what a horrible place prison is and uh, probably what, what quite accurate to what it's like in real life. Um, I then love the main characters, you know, the main two are obviously Andy and Ellis, and they're just brilliant. And Morgan Freeman and Tim Robbins have such good chemistry in this film. I think it's brilliant. Uh, there are also other good characters, like, you know, the warden, Haywood, and uh, Tommy, who uh, sadly gets killed. And uh, the star performer for me would have to be uh, Tim Robbins as Andy. Just such a good character. And uh, it's really, this the story for this film is just so brilliant, of how um, the bank gets wrongly accused of a crime, and then goes to prison for it, but then he meets up with other dangerous criminals that are already there, and then he becomes uh, some part of, part of a group with the prison, um, because he's, he's quite a well-liked prisoner, Andy. Um, it's also narrated by uh, Morgan Freeman's character, uh, so he like tells the story from his perspective uh, as it goes on, which is good, I think. And uh, another thing which is just brilliant is uh, the genius escape, uh, because the whole film kind of builds up to it, because obviously Andy, before this, the escape, has been in prison for 19 years before, and it's really smart what he does, how he scams the warden and the other guards. And, um, you know, at the end of the film, we see all the guards getting arrested and stuff. And the warden actually, you know, quite sadly kills himself. Uh, this is just such a good ending to the film, I have to say. Um, adding on to Andy's character, one of my favourite scenes is where he locks uh, the guards, uh, when, when the guard is in the toilet. And uh, he then, uh, Andy gets the speaker and he starts playing some music out. Uh, through the speakers and all the prisoners can hear you know the the music and you know they're in prison so they've never heard anything like it but then it does cut to you know the warden and the prisoners you know breaking in and you know they eventually put them in the hole uh, for like a few months i think it is but obviously the inmates love them after this and another one of my favorite scenes which is a uh, you know it's quite it's just a heartwarming scene is when um you know ellis gets out of prison and he eventually meets up with andy which is just brilliant um also some scenes which are quite sad though, but they're still good for the story, I think. There's a prisoner called Brooks, and he's quite an old man. He must have been in prison for 40, 50 years. And um, there, he finally gets out of prison after all this time. And, um, you know, he thinks this would be good to finally get out of prison, you know, get back into the, the way of life. But he ends up killing himself because he doesn't really know how to live in the normal world. He's Because uh, he's been in prison his whole life. And uh, it's really sad, actually. And the other characters are saying, you know, he should have died in prison. This is where, you know, he wanted to be. And uh, this almost happens to Ellis at the end, uh, Morgan Freeman's character, because he finally gets out after about 40 years. And um, he, he actually goes to kill himself. But, uh, you know, good gladly for us, he doesn't, uh, which is, you know... It'd be, it'd be really sad if he did, I have to say. And uh, he ends up meeting with, I've always said, he ends up meeting with Andy, who escaped from Shawshank before. Um, one more positive I have to say for this film is that it really isn't too long, in my opinion. Some might say it is, some might say it's slow, but I don't think it is. Um, you know, it's a over two hours, it's a two hour long film. And I really, I really want to see more after watching this because I was have how much I was enjoying it. Um, now on to the negatives. Honestly, guys, there really isn't many negatives, I would say. But uh, two things that come to mind is um, straight away when Andy escapes from prison, he brings like a suit with him. And um, he goes to a bank, you know, because he's got all the warden's money and he's scammed them. And uh, but he would I'm sure he would be the most wanted man in the country at this time. So surely, you know, someone on the news would have recognized him and be like, you know, that's him in our bank. You know, let's, let's arrest him. And um, another thing is uh, that Tim Robbins doesn't seem to or Andy's character. He doesn't seem like he ages much in the film because obviously he's been there for 19 years. But for me, I feel like he, look, he looks the same. Maybe they could have put some more makeup on him to make him look older, maybe more wrinkly and stuff like that. But overall, this is such a brilliant film. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It's amazing. Um, I would highly recommend you guys to watch it if you haven't already. Um, what would you guys give the Shawshank Redemption out of 10? Let us know down below. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.